Today we're headed from Branson, Missouri out to Table Rock Lake. We'll drive across the dam and visit the Visitor Center. Then we'll check out a couple of marinas and get out on the lake to see the views from this beautiful lake in the Ozarks. Join us as we explore Table Rock Lake. Table Rock Lake is located just a few miles and a quick drive from the Branson Strip on Highway 165. The drive out to the dam only takes a few minutes passing by Fall Creek, Point Royale and the former Welk Resort. Table Rock Dam is a hydroelectric dam producing electricity and also serving as a flood control dam. It is also home to a trout hatchery that serves Lake Tanicomo, which begins at the base of the dam. These shots were taken during a high water period when the spillway gates were open. On the right is the outflow from the hydroelectric generators. Turning left on 165 takes us past the entrance to the chateau on the lake and then past the entrance to the popular Moonshine Beach. and then immediately onto the dam itself. Let's enjoy the drive across the dam and the first views of Table Rock Lake. The building to the right just past the end of the dam is the Dewey Short Visitor Center. This building is three stories of interactive exhibits about the dam, lake, and surrounding areas. It also has two levels of decks and outstanding views of the dam and lake. Let's stop in and have a look. There's a nice path to the building entrance and signage identifying some of the area's plants along the way. Inside the building there are knowledgeable people available to answer visitors' questions and direct them to exhibits. Heading out to the back are the decks that overlook the lake and dam. Here you can enjoy great views of the dam and lake. Inside are three levels of exhibits.
Outside, there are walkways and a trail along the lake. One of the best ways to enjoy the lake is on the lake itself. There are a number of marinas around the lake where you can launch your own boat or rent a boat for a day on the lake. One of these is located at Indian Point at the end of the road that takes you past Silver Dollar City. It features full services, a boat ramp, boat rentals, and even a cafe. It is a busy place on summer weekends. Another popular marina is State Park Marina, located just a couple of miles past the dam on 165. This huge marina features boat and wave runner rentals, boat tours, and slip rentals. A search of marinas reveals there are well over a dozen marinas located in various locations on Table Rock Lake. There are also numerous public boat launch facilities located around the lake. Let's head out on Table Rock Lake and enjoy some of the views from this beautiful Ozark Mountain Lake. Another way to get out on the lake is to take a ride on the showboat Branson Bell. This is the White River Landing, the boarding point for the showboat. The showboat is a paddle wheeler that will treat you to a meal and a show, as well as a cruise on Table Rock Lake. I have a video on the showboat Branson Bell that you will find in my Branson playlist in the description if you're interested.
This view of the dam from the water is near the Dewey Short Visitor Center that we visited earlier in the video. Table Rock Lake is a massive lake with over 800 miles of shoreline. There are plenty of places to stay on the lake if you prefer, including homes, condos, townhomes, and even the Chateau on the Lake Hotel located on a hillside overlooking the lake. There are also many inlets, coves, and hillsides on the lake with nightly rentals with great lake views. And as a bonus, when you stay on the lake, it's only a short drive into Branson and all it has to offer. Finally, whatever else you do, don't miss the sunset on the lake, whether from on land overlooking the lake or on the lake itself. These shots were taken from the Chateau on the Lake in late fall. This great sunset was taken in the summer from the deck of the showboat Branson Bell. Thanks for watching. If you like the outdoors, Table Rock Lake might be a great place for you to spend a day in Branson. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, share it, and leave us a comment to let us know your thoughts. If you need tickets to shows and attractions while in Branson, consider supporting our channel by using the link above to get information or purchase online. Meanwhile, check out this video next for more travel fun. And don't forget to subscribe.